Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Brandon Johnson. I'm back today to show you a 2007 Chaparral 276 SSX Bowrider. sell here at Art Marine where I work. So to keep this video as short as we can, we're going to start by doing the butt seat test, walk around and take a look at the exterior, finish up on the interior, and that'll be it. Down in the description below, there'll be a link to the ad for this video that shows you all the pictures I'm about to take. Let's get started right now. But first, I'd like to introduce our channel. I've been passionately selling boats for over 19 years. The purpose of this channel is to help you and your family enjoy boats and boating just as much as my family and I enjoy it. So thanks to the help of my staff here at Heart and Marine and my sons, we've been able to successfully upload hundreds of boat reviews, instructional operation, help, and how-to videos. I don't ask for anything in return, except for the opportunity to possibly help you find a boat in your time frame. So to stay up on everything Anybody we upload, click it. that subscribe button below and stay tuned. Nice. No. So trust Lee still. See. Now it's time for the butt seat test. The butt seat test is where I get in the boat and show much room there is for your friends and family's butts. Oh my god, Becky, look at her butt. It is so... The 276 Chaparral has a lot of room for butts because it's nine feet wide. That's why it rides so good. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six aft, seven, eight, nine. So you put nine in the sole of your boat comfortably. Coming into the deck, 10, 11, and it's long enough that we can do 12, 13, 14. So you can easily put 14 butts in the boat, which is a lot. This boat is actually yacht certified, so legally you can put as many people in as you'd like. If you're interested to know how boat capacity ratings are given by manufacturers, down in the description below, I'll include a link to a video that explains that. Now let's look at the gel coat and we'll come back in here and check out the condition. Wow, this is a nice boat. First off, it's got the massive swim platform. It covers up the out drive and it's built in so it doesn't bang and clang. It is propelled by the Bravo 3X drive. Bravo 3X3, Bravo 3X drive is rated for over 400 horsepower because this has the 496 HO mag. See, a lot of them have the 496s with the Bravo 3 and that's okay. But when you do the HO, it needs to be the Bravo 3X. I've actually seen them, uh, you know, the HOs without the Bravo 3X and that's kind of scary. Dealers would do that to save money and they're not ready for that kind of horsepower. So the outside is really stunning for both that just came in. You can see where there's a scratch repaired right here. You can always get some graphics to go over it. But you can just see this weird line right here. Looks worse in the video. So coming around to the Stem of the starboard side. It's got stainless steel docking light housing, stainless steel bow scuff plate. It's got pop out chaparral cleats. Whole side starboard side lifting streaks. These two, the keel and the reverse chine are all in beautiful condition. Coming around the stem, port side, whole side dropping down. Keel's in great shape. Lifting streaks and reverse chine look beautiful. I didn't see really anything over here in the gel coat. Just a nice shiny boat. You can sneak up on people in the bathroom. Hey guys. Just kidding, that'd be, that, that's not allowed. That'd be very weird. So anyhow, that's the port side. It's got nice blower vent covers. You gotta love the arch on this boat. It is collapsible with a big bimini top. I put that all up just now. A lot of people never take it down. Um, I love the lines on this boat, how it comes up and tapers down low. Looks beautiful in the water. Rides great because it's nine feet wide and 28 and a half feet long. Let's go jump inside. And Do not go in there. Woo! As we start back here aft on the big swim platform, this whole seat flips up, gives us a trunk. We can put junk in our trunk. I opened it and it's real dirty in there because the boat just came in, so that's why I didn't show it to you. But all the vinyl looks pretty nice. I found a few little nicks that we'll be able to fix. 
Nicks that we can fix. That's a, I should be a rapper. Because that's what we do here at Heart and Marine. We inspect, check, clean, and correct the boats we sell before so to the best of our abilities. So the aft convertible seat goes this way. It also goes this way, all the way down flat. Conveniently located to the port side of the walkers or battery switches. If our batteries go dead, we can hook up power right here and open up that engine hatch. This is a spot for a cooler. We have a nice little refreshment center to the port side. Down in here, we got storage. On both sides, there's an optional refrigerator. We could have went in there. This arch actually hinges, by the way. It's got lights in it. No one ever usually takes this bimini top down. So these are supposed to be like a cooler and a little sink area, but it's a great dry storage spot. A lot of these, when I get them in, people like forget their sunglasses and stuff in there. Little quality feature to point out, stainless steel wrapped windshield with one piece of tempered glass. See how there's no break in it? All right. So you have a great big ski storage compartment in the floor here. And that is enormous. I can get all the way down in there. To the port side, we have a captain's chair with the flip up bolster. So you can sit up nice and tall, ride high and dry. We have double cup holders for alcoholic port side companions. Little glove box inside the head to the port side. That is a vacuum flush, so it's a fancy toilet like an airplane. It even has teak floor storage, lights, a window, stereo, a place to plug your phone into it. It's got two lights. Just didn't want you to think they didn't work. To the starboard side, we have two captain's chairs, both have the flip up bolsters, so you can sit up here and cuddle with each other and talk about how much you love your boat salesman named Brandon. Just kidding. Oh, Sorry about that. Starting over at the helm. Look at, look at the helm. So we got trim tab controls. All of our paneling looks great. We have glass gauges, which look beautiful. GPS built into the dash here. That is a Garmin Echo Mat CV. We've only got 381 hours on the 496. Tilt steering. Power engine hatch right here. And the battery is low, so that's as high as we're going to get right now. So this is the 496 MAG-HO 425 horsepower engine. And this is the first time I've opened this. And look how clean it is down in here. Hopefully you can see it's relatively clean for a boat that just came in. All the pulleys look good, manifolds look good. And this is a closed cold motor. So it just uses raw water to cool the antifreeze through the heat exchanger. All right, coming back up into the bow, we have more storage in the floor. This doubles as a wind block door if it's cool, cold, or windy. Above the helm in the storage box, we have bow filler cushions, so we can make this whole bow into a sun pad. Now, the bow is very deep. The boat has a lot of freeboard, which is interior depth. So when you sit down in here, you really feel like you're deep down inside the boat. Also, the wraparound railing is nice because kids always want to run up here and sit on their knees and look out. Fully finished storage compartments. We also have an anchor locker with an anchor in it and a bow boarding ladder. Usually, boats of size don't have that, so if that's something you want, it's a good choice. Also, we have a tow point above the arch here for water sports, which is great. So thank you for looking at this boat with me. My name is Brandon. If you have any questions, be sure to comment below. Please subscribe if you have it, and I'll see you on the water. Models, popping bottles. Hey!